A clean school environment directly affects the health of all students and staff, and a comprehensive cleaning program is the key to a healthy school. The program should include a cleaning plan with measurable goals that covers the entire school environment, from classrooms to the cafeteria, from locker rooms to school buses. An Infection Control Plan, or ICP, should also be part of the program. An ICP should include clear instructions for routine cleaning, sanitizing, and targeted disinfecting. It should outline steps to take during an infectious disease outbreak or exposure to bodily fluids. Products that are approved for use in your school would also be listed in the program. Depending on state, district, or building regulations, schools may have requirements on how cleaning products are selected. For example, cleaners may need to have independent third-party certification or an EPA label identifying products that are deemed preferable for human health and the environment. All sanitizing and disinfecting products should be EPA registered and only those products approved and provided by the school should be used. For safety reasons, staff should not be allowed to bring in their own cleaners, sanitizers, or disinfectants. A comprehensive cleaning program should include best practices, procedures, and equipment to protect the health of everyone in the school and on the school bus. This includes the use of personal protective equipment. And finally, the program should include training programs for school staff. Only employees trained in handling cleaners, sanitizers, and disinfectants should use those products in a school environment. A comprehensive cleaning program should also address specific health concerns. For example, children, pregnant women, and people with compromised immune systems may be more sensitive to the health effects of certain products. Therefore, the program should outline ways to minimize their use, especially during the school day, while still achieving the goals of the comprehensive cleaning program. The program should also emphasize that, for their own safety, students and untrained staff should never handle cleaners, surface sanitizers, or disinfectants in the school environment. Creating and carefully following a comprehensive cleaning program will help reassure staff, students, and parents that the school is taking steps necessary to control the spread of infectious diseases and maintain a healthy school environment.